Hi everybody, I'm finally doing my highly requested what I eat in a day video and I'm gonna start with my morning routine which yes I know is pretty intense but I'm showing you guys what I do for weight loss. I start my morning with four ounces of water, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar and I take that down followed by a 90 billion probiotic. I then have some hot water with lemon squeezed into it. I wait until the water is at room temperature before drinking, before squeezing the lemon in so that it doesn't lose its enzymes. And then I add some ground turmeric and cayenne pepper for their health benefits. And they really get your metabolism going in the morning. It's great on an empty stomach. Then 30 minutes before my workout, which I will show you, I have my Garden of Life Energizer with an added scoop of Vega Chlorella. It gives me the energy I need to get through my workout and through my day. I also decided I'm going to give you snippets of my workout with James from Clinic Training today. You guys should try these exercises because it's been two weeks and I'm already seeing crazy results. All right, today we will be demonstrating the fire hydrant. This is a great exercise to get your hip flexors stronger and also work on your core strength. As you see, Lior is taking her hip and extending directly out to the side. When you're doing this, you wanna keep your belly button facing the floor and your hands directly underneath your shoulders. This is a great exercise to add more width to your hips and also improve your core strength and stability. And then switch legs. And then do the, uh, do the front one and the back one. So as you progress through this exercise, you want to bring your leg out and up towards your elbow. Really work on that hip rotation. And then also, when you're done with the out and up rotation, you want to go out and backwards, as Lior is not doing right now. So after not listening to my trainer, I love to have a refreshing morning smoothie with some protein. I use bananas, frozen strawberries, almond milk, and one teaspoon each of flax and chia seeds and hemp hearts. I also add uh, two heaping teaspoons of PB Fit peanut butter powder, and this literally tastes like liquid PB and J. It's so good. Because of the protein and flax seeds in this smoothie, I've noticed a considerable improvement to my hair shine and strength, so I recommend this smoothie for anyone struggling with hair growth. And if anyone is curious, I started 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez and I highly recommend it. After walking my little baby, I usually am super thirsty and want a snack so I'll have an apple and ice water with some lime. So this was going to be called what I eat in a day for weight loss, then this meal happened. It was my first time at Native Foods Cafe and I'm obsessed and honestly my meal was relatively healthy, relatively. <laughs> I got the gyro plate which I had always pronounced as gyro, but you learn something new every day, man. For dinner, I made soca and guacamole. Soca is a gluten-free Italian flatbread made out of chickpea flour, so it's full of protein and very filling and so easy to make. You're going to need one cup of chickpea flour, one cup of water, a dash of oil, and then mix that, whisk that together, and then I add seasonings to taste. Scoop some of the mixture onto an oiled or nonstick pan, much like a pancake, and cook on medium high for three minutes on each side. Zata on mine and it was so good but you can put whatever spices you have on hand even just salt and pepper work fine this is such an easy and delicious recipe you need to make it 
And you can top soca with whatever you like. I was just craving guacamole. <laughs> so that's it for my what I eat in a day video, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm going to do a lot more of these, like one for weight loss. So please thumbs up if you want to see that and if you like this video. And please subscribe. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support and I love you guys.